Hello dear students. Welcome back to Maths Online class. We are teaching the Maths Online class of grade 6 and today we're going to continue our unit that is unit 12 about the fractions and decimals. So in my previous class I have taught you about the fractions, the comparison between the fractions and we have already done up to question number 7 here. So today we'll be doing of question number 8 and it's about the use of sign in the blank space. That means two of the fractions are given here and we need to find out which one has the, which one is the greater. We have to compare in between these fractions. Suppose here a question is given like in question number 8a. In number question 8a there is 2 by 6 one um, fraction is there and there is a blank space and we need to write the sign there and another is 1 by 6 so as I have said in my previous class if you haven't watched the previous uh, class um, video about the pre previous lecture then please um, do watch it the lecture 1 video of unit 12 and then only you'll be able to understand how we need to uh, do the comparison so since here both the denominators are equal right both of the denominators of this uh, fractions are equal so we do not need to make uh, we do not need to take the LCM of it we can directly um, make the comparison so the denominators are same so no need to do any sort of things here now we just need to look at the upper one upper number so the upper that is the numerator has the greater value here this fraction has the greater value of numerator so this one is this fraction 2 by 6 is greater than 1 by 6 so we have to write the sign like greater than understood so this is how we will be doing so let's do another question which one is a bit different let's do question number e in question number e there is 1 by 3 and there is a blank space and another is 1 by 4 so here it is 1 by 3 and here it is 1 by 4, right? So in this um, question, the denominators are different. In one fraction there is 3 and another there is 4. So there is a difference in the fraction. So what do we need to do now? We need to take the LCM of that. So the LCM of, the LCM of, 3 and 4 is so what is the LCM of 3 and 4 the 3 uh, LCM of 3 and 4 is 12 3 4 is a 12 so now we need to take the LCM and the fraction of 1 by 3 uh, for making it equal for making the denominator equal after taking the LCM we need to multiply it with 4 by 4 so it will be 4 upon 12 and the next fraction will be the next fraction will be 1 by 4 into 3 by 3 why we have to multiply with 3 because the denominator we have to make it equal the denominator we have to make the 12 of both of the fractions so 3 by 12 look both of the denominators have been equal now right so what we need to do now we need to we can make the comparison because both of the denominators are are equal now so we need to make the comparison how we will be uh, comparing with each other 4 by 12 is here and another is 3 by 12 right so in between there is a box so 4 by 12 12 and here also 12 the both of the denominators are equal that means now we can directly make the comparison of the numerator the which one has the greater value of the numerator of course 4 by 12 so this one is greater so I'll be putting here greater than sign understood so here we'll be doing um, 4 by 12 is greater than 3 by 12 Okay, so next question is question number 9. Find the three equivalent fraction of each of the following. So we need to find out the equivalent fractions. As I have said, equivalent fractions will always result in the same sort of fraction when it is converted into the lowest form. So let's take an example of 2 by 7. So when we take the example of 2 by 7, so the question number A is 
2 by 7. Now we need to find out the equivalent fractions, right? So, um, what we can do? First equivalent fraction, number 1, it will be like 2 by 7 into 2 upon 2. Why we can multiply with 2 by 2? We can multiply 2 by 2 in both of the numerator and denominator. If we cut, let's take example. If we cut, the, uh, cut down this both, um, we can cut the nu numerator and the denominator as these have the like terms, right? So we can cut it down, then the answer will be same. Yes, 2 by 7 only it will be. So we can multiply with any numbers, but the numerator and the denominator should have the same, uh, same value, same number. So 2 to the 4 and 7 to the 14. So 4 by uh, 14 is the another equivalent number. And let's check. How can we check? We can check it like 4 by 14. Uh, so 2 to the 4 will be there. 2 7 the 14 will be there. So the answer in the lowest term of the fraction is in the lowest term of fraction is 2 by 7 which is equals to the equation that uh, the book has given. So this one is equivalent fraction. So the next question, um, another fraction, what another fraction can be? 2 by 7 into, let's multiply with 3 by 3. Then it will be 6 upon 21. So this will also be, if you can, if you want to check, then you can check it like this, that we have done a 4 by 14, then it will be also equal to 2 by 7. Okay. So another is 3. 2 by 7 into well, why to why not to multiply with 5 by 5 because the answer will be same so 2 into 5 equals to 10 and 7 into 5 equals to 35 so this is how you have to calculate uh, the three equivalent fractions of the given question you can calculate 3 for any one okay any numbers you can calculate so another question we have is question number 10. In question number 10, we have to arrange the following fractions in increasing and then after in decreasing order. So here is the example of uh, one question, 2 by 5, 3 by 4, 11 by 20 is here. And now we have to arrange this in increasing order. So this one is also like a comparison, okay? Uh, so how we need to compare? I have already taught you how we need to compare. We need to compare by only making the denominators equal. Yes, you are correct. We need to take the LCM. Now we need to take the LCM of this 5, 4 and 20. What will be the LCM? So what is the question? So in question 10A, so there is 2 by 5. There is 2 by 5, then after 3 by 4 is there and 11 by 20 is there. So, among these three, we need to find out which one is the greater and which one is uh, greater than another last one. So, we need to find out and we need to uh, keep it in increasing order. So, for that, first of all, we will be taking the LCM. LCM of 5, 4 and 20 is... 20 only yes the LCM is 20 only so we need to make this 5 also 20 this 4 also we need to make 20 and 20 is 20 itself so no need to do anything for that so the first fraction that is 2 by 5 now we need to make it 20 right so 5 how many is a 20 5 4 is a 20 so we need to multiply 4 by 4 in both of the side both of the um, numerator and denominator part then only we can make it 20 2 for the 8, 5 for the 20. So look, the denominator 20 is there. Now another, another fraction is there that is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 also. Now we need to make this 4 also 20, right? So 5, 4 how many is that 20? 4, 5 is a 20. So we'll be multiplying 5 by 5 in both of the side and 3, 5 so it will be 15 and 4, 5 so it will be 20 right so the next fraction is 11 by 20 itself look now we got 8 by 20 15 by 15 by 20 and another is 11 by 20 we got it all so now we need to compare in between these 8 by 20 is there and another is 15 by 20 is there and another is 11 by 20 now how we need to compare as I've said, if the denominators are equal, then we need to look at the numerator part for comparing. 
so which one will be the greater number among this which one will have the greater number of value among these fractions the numerator we have to look so the highest number of the uh, number in the numerator value is 15 here so 15 by 20 is greater 15 by 20 is greater then after 11 by 20 then after 8 by 20 so how it became from greater greater to smaller so it became um, from greater to smaller value because this one is greater and while going through the right hand side it came in the uh, smaller order so from greater to smaller this means it is in descending order understood or we can say decreasing order So this is in decreasing order. Next, how we can do it in increasing order? So the increasing order will be like, for increasing order, we need to put the smaller value, smaller to greater. So just the opposite of the decreasing. So how we'll be writing? We'll be writing like 8 by 20, then after 11 by 20, and then after 15 by 20. 20. So, this is the increasing order. So, since uh, in the decreasing order, this one is greater, no? So, we'll be keeping the arrow like this. It is greater than 15 by 20 is greater than 20 by 11 by 20 and 11 by 20 is greater than 8 by 20. Similarly, in smaller to greater, 8 by 20 is smaller than. Smaller than 11 by 20 and 15 by 20 is 11 by 20 is smaller than 15 by 20. Understood? Okay, now if you look at question number 11, 11 also has said the uh, similar type of question is there. There is uh, 3 by 4 of the stick is painted black. Here you can see 3 by 4 of the stick is painted black. 1 by 2 is white and 1 by 6 is painted red. Which one? Uh, part is painted the most now what we need to do we need to uh, find out the greater value which is the greater value of the color which was is uh, which color is painted in most of the part so for that we need to uh, make the denominator same here is 4 2 and 6 so we need to take the LCM of this 4 2 and 6 and then we need to uh, find which one has the greater numerator value so that will be your answer understood and in question number 12 Naren spends 1 by 3 of his income on the food 2 by 5 on house rent and which one which amount is less here is also the same thing is here Okay, let me do this question number 12. So, in question number 12, Narayan spends 1 by 3rd of his income on food and 2 by 5th of on house rent. Which amount is less? So, what we will be writing first? Question number 12. In question number 12, mm, so Narayan spends. Given, okay given Narayan spends one by third of his income income on food and two by fifth on house rent now we need to compare which one is less by Taking the denominator, uh, by taking the LCM and making the denominator equal, then only we can find out which one is less or which one is greater. So, he spent, he spent it, um, one by third of his money in food, right? So, one by third is there and another is two by five is there. So, what will be the LCM of this two? LCM. LCM of 3 and 5 is 15, right? So, LCM of 3 by uh, 5 is 15. So, now we need to make this 1 by 3 
uh, this denominator 3 also we need to make 15 and this 5 also we need to make 15. So 1 by 3 into how 3 how many is there? 15 will be there? 3 5 is there. So I will be multiplying both of the numerator and denominator with 5. So it will be 5 and here it will be 15. So look the denominator became 15. Similarly another fraction also we have another fraction is 2 by 5 is there. So 2 by 5 is there. 5, how many is a 15? 5, 3 is a. So we will be multiplying 3. 2, 3 is a 6. 5, 3 is a 15. So 6 by 15 will be there. And here it, we got 5 by 15. Now among 5 by 15 is there and 6 by 15 is there. So which one is less? Which one is greater? We have to look at the numerator value now. Since the numerator value of 6 by 15 is greater, 6 is greater, so this one is greater and 5 by 15 is less. And what the question has asked you, look, you can see here which amount is less. So the question is asking you which amount is less. So now we need to find out the less amount of value. So here 5 by 15 is the lesser value. So 5 by 15. That means in which he spent it 5 by 15 on food, right? So he spent it 5 by 15 is less. So now you have to write therefore, therefore, Narayan spends, Narayan spends, spends less amount on food okay this is the conclusion that you have to write thank you so much everyone see you in next video